the last major update for CSGO has finally arrived. I'm also doing the pickems in this video, but first here's my sponsor, Skin Baron. The skins marketplace based in Germany where you pay on average 30% less than on the Steam market. You can sell skins for real money, which you can withdraw through bank transfer, including other payment options. There's a million skins to choose from, and you can even check them out through a 360 3D viewer, and of course a handy filter system to find the exact skins you need. Even the selling system is just super easy to use. And of course, find some hot deals on the front page. Check the link down below to visit Skin Baron, my sponsor, for this video. To take part in the major and play the pickems, you need to get the viewer pass. Though the cost varies by location, mine is 9.49 euros. Acquiring a pass means that 50% of the proceeds support players, teams, and organizations. Once activated, you'll gain access to your major event coin, team graffiti is usable throughout the event, and the infamous pickems, which I'll do later in the video. Upon activating the pass, you'll receive missions to complete in order to upgrade your coin. You'll need to conquer three of them to evolve your coin from bronze to silver, six for gold, and all nine for diamond. Every coin upgrade grants you tokens, meaning you can collect up to three tokens just by upgrading the coin. If you prefer the path of least resistance, you can just buy them. But that's not as rewarding. Tokens enable you to open souvenir packages, just like the one we saw with the Anubis collection. You can redeem tokens for any completed match or save them until a specified time from Valve and the package you receive corresponds to the map of the match you choose to claim. I think that pretty much sums the major update. Let's go to the pickems. I hate the fact that I have to say this every major, but take responsibility for your own actions. If you copy my picks, and they happen to be complete trash, blame yourself. If you want my track, here's from the five last majors. I have three diamonds and two golds. It's not bad, but it's not perfect either. Here are the first matchups for each teams. Starting with teams to advance, I'm going with G2. They're ranked four, and despite some shaky performance, they're still a strong contender. My next pick is FaZe, who are ranked 5. Despite barely making it through the last chance qualifier, they are still a solid team that never gives up. I still believe they'll advance, regardless of their recent underwhelming performance. My next pick is Liquid, ranked 7. I think they can make it through. Yes, even with their love for choking in crucial moments. Moving on, I'm going with Ents, ranked 9. They have a promising lineup, and you can never count them off. My next pick is going to be NIP, ranked 14. Perhaps a questionable pick, but I think it's possibly NIP's best lineup in ages, and I can see them being very well prepped for the major, plus Alexi has seen it all. My last two picks will be OG, ranked 12, an overall strong contender, and I'm putting 4's ranked 16 as the final pick to qualify, but being fully capable of giving top teams a run for their money. It doesn't matter what you put here, you will always get criticized, but my 0-3 pick is going to be Mongols. I know who the players are, but I'm just not sure they'll survive with these matchups, especially with G2 in their first game. I mean, it's possible with an upset, but I don't really think so. And my 3-0 pick will be Pain. They're a huge gamble, but the way I see it is, it won't hurt too much if they don't go 3-0. Those are my picks, let me know how you pick down below, hope you enjoy yourselves during the major, have some fun, and see ya at the legend stage. Peace.